Hey, on this video we're going to talk about hard drive, spin down, hibernation mode, standby mode, how to enable it and uh, why it doesn't work sometimes. So what you do, you usually go to your QNAP um, admin console and go to settings uh, uh, and then go to hardware option and then look for standby mode. This is where you can select how many minutes uh, of idle time for the hard drives uh, need to take uh, need to happen that for drives to actually go sleep because when they do spin down and go to sleep on standby mode this will save um, energy really on, on your bill because normally each drive consumes somewhere around 8 to 10 watts but when they are in idle or slow then it's like 1 watt or 2 so this is something you, you could actually enable if at home you're just one or a few people accessing this data so most of the time um, your NAS is just in idle mode waiting for people to connect so why is it not um, going to sleep you will need to go and check that in resource monitor because sometimes you will have um, some apps which will never let your uh, NAS drives to go to sleep so for example if you have surveillance running in the background if you have um, some web server uh, uh, running there or virtual machines these are the certain certain things that will never allow your hard drives to actually go and hibernate so if you use your NAS purely just for simple things like um, file storage then most likely those drives will manage to go sleep unless there are so many users actually trying to connect if, if, you are sh if you have shared certain folders over the internet or local network, these people trying to access the data will keep those drives awake. So you need to check what sort of apps are running. Also, if you're going to try to watch something on TV, all these devices trying to get data from NAS will just keep it awake. So if you can't figure out what is causing that, you just go through the apps and, uh, and then you should just like disable them. If you can find them in App Center, go first start with uh, anything to do with like uh, server apps or virtual machines, or you just do a uh, stop option. This is going to shut that down, up, uh, up, down, so it's not going to delete it, but at least it's going to help you to figure out which apps are actually keeping NAS alive. If you still cannot figure this out, then I can suggest you to go for. Um, uh, settings and uh, search for power options there you can go for power schedule and enable um, your NAS to go sleep after a certain time so if it's office probably you're gonna ask it to shut down at six o'clock because there's no reason for anyone to connect after six and you can automate a wake up time at uh, eight or seven o'clock in the morning and staying for a home environment you can just say NAS need to shut down at uh, midnight and and switch back on at uh, let's say seven o'clock in the morning or you can shut it down during the day if you're away from home it's uh, you can set this up how you want and uh, this this is I hope this was helpful if you've got any questions you can always go to NASCAN Bears fill the form uh, or send an email to info NASCAN Bears if the question will be interesting we're gonna shoot video like this and um, upload it to YouTube so we can help others as well I hope this was helpful and have a nice day